The film adaptation of one of China's major literary works, Fengxin Bang, also known as The Investiture of Gods, has hit the big screen this summer. Work on the project started back in 2017, but post-production and special effects took longer to complete than anticipated, so the movie premiered only in July of 2023. Lazenzi of the Creation Gods, which was released few months before this movie, is an attempt to capitalize on the upcoming epic that has been generating a great deal of hype. The online movie is based on a small fragment of Fengxin Bang. The film takes place in a small village at the foot of the Taiping Mountain. The mountain, or, more precisely, a black dragon who lives inside it, protects the villagers from the barbarians that plunder the settlements on the other side of Taiping. A fragile piece is threatened when the chief of the barbarians decides to dig a tunnel through the mountain, bypassing the dragon's lair. Living in the village is a young man named Xia Ding, an outsider who was picked up and raised by a local blacksmith. He's heading to the dragon's cave to try and negotiate with the beast. There, by pure chance, he finds out that he comes from the tribe of the winged gods of thunder. It's hard to say how much low-budget clones like this get in the way of blockbusters whose popularity thereafter. Anyway, the creators of Lazenzi decided to put on a poker face and pretended to be making a standalone film, rather than taking advantage of the upcoming hit. While basic, cheap, and uncreative, Lazenzi is still a piece of cinema in its own right, with a plot, characters, and a palatable storytelling. It's interesting that the character of Lazenzi, who lent his name to the title, only appears as a baby in last minute of the movie. The film's actual protagonist is Lazenzi's father, who, like Thor, acquires power through a huge hammer that serves to keep the dragon in place. The story of Xia Ding's awakening is no different from hundreds of fantasy tales that you can find across Chinese streaming platforms. But at the same time, you can't ignore the fact that it's told in a meticulous and compelling way. With its army of merciless barbarians, tamed wolves, and a curvy witch that can turn into a flock of crows, it's not surprising that Lazenzi stands out from the crowd. Speaking about the technical side of the film, Lazenzi strikes you with its appallingly sterile studio settings. The computer graphics are dodgy. As for the action, it's been reduced to characters flying around with weapons and striking dramatic poses amid special effects. From time to time, the visuals get so bad that you can't help but think about old cartoons. One happy exception is the dragon that looks quite credible.